Good evening. Minnesota is now one of the first states to expand abortion protections after the fall of Roe v. Wade. The governor putting it in writing today. Political reporter Theo Keith is at the Capitol. And so, Theo, this law guarantees a fundamental right to an abortion. Yeah, the law takes effect tomorrow, and it will make it harder for a court to roll back Minnesota's existing abortion protections. Democrats say they have a mandate from voters to do this, but Republicans think the DFL went too far. Governor Tim Walz caps a four-week sprint to guarantee abortion access in state law. It was the Democrats' top priority after taking control of state government this month. Fundamentally, this legislation is about who decides. Abortion is already a protected right in Minnesota because of a three-decade-old state Supreme Court decision. Democrats see this law as a backstop in case the court ever reverses itself. OBGYN Melissa Richards summed up her feelings in a word. Relief. That is the first thing that I think of. The White House was watching. Vice President Kamala Harris applauded Walls for signing the bill, calling it an example of state government stepping up to protect reproductive health care for women. We say pro-choice! The bill drew activists on both sides to the Capitol and passed this month with only DFL votes. Republicans lobbied Walls up to the last minute to veto the measure. They say Democrats overstepped with a law that imposes no new restrictions on when an abortion can be performed. We are enacting the most extreme bill in the country. The governor waved off the critics. You know, my pro tip advice is when you're in a hole, quit digging. Listen to Minnesotans. They were very clear on this issue where they spoke. Democrats are not done. House Speaker Melissa Hortman says that two more abortion bills will come to the House floor for votes within the next two weeks. One of them would repeal some of Minnesota's existing abortion restrictions, including the state's 24-hour waiting period that a judge struck down as unconstitutional last year. The other one would give legal protections to abortion providers and to women who come here seeking abortions from states where abortion is illegal. Randy? All right, Theo, thank you.